All right, boys, we are back here with another Mail Monday. Very short and sweet. We're going to breeze through it. So we're going to take a look at what I've been buying. And it's going to be pretty similar, actually, because I'm pretty sure po <laughs> this package is either going to be some alt arts or a QCR of a very specific card. So what is this one going to be? Tuning! It's the alt arts. Oh, show. Look at all those goddamn... Uh, cards in here. How many did I buy? It looks like 30-something. Holy, dude. Maybe not 30. I, I'm trying to remember how how many I bought. Uh, maybe 20-something. Kind of looks like 20-something in here. All right, so let's take a look. And then I'm also going to explain why, guys. So, I'm, and I'm also looking at the quality. Don't get me wrong, you know. So, one, two... Uh, three, four, one eternity later. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, yeah, uh, 30 of these. Uh, I kind of breeze through the under because this is not a counting lesson. I'm not teaching you guys how to count. The reason I got tuning is because it's incredibly, incredibly cheap. It actually fits some decks, unlike uh, limited removal. Like, limited removal looks cool, guys. But it does, it's not going to see as much play as tuning, and they're both comparable in price. Uh, I would get more Harpy's Feather Dusters, or I would get more Red Gekis, but those cards are pretty expensive compared to like two bucks, which were these, right? So that's why I got tuning. And then what What should this be? Oh, did I show my address? I hope I didn't. It's really hard with these, but all right, we are in, boys. Uh, kind of. Okay, there we go. So it is the Wayne Karibo. You got I think it was a live stream that I did. I, I alluded to this purchase. And I again don't remember how, how many I, I bought, but it, it's look it looks chunky, so about 20 to 30. And the reason why is I don't I don't think this card is gonna be like Uber super expensive, right? I just like it. Like I'm just buying this for the collection. And if it occurs value, it occurs value. It doesn't have an archetype, you know, necessarily. When Karibo isn't, actually, I mean, you could use Karibo cards because it is a Karibo monster, but it doesn't fit the archetype because it just prevents damage from you, right? It doesn't support heroes, or at least this one doesn't, and it doesn't really support Karibos. So it's kind of a, an odd man out, but it's winking at me, so I bought it. That's really all there is to it, man. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it should all be wing, uh, wing Karibos. I'll count it and look at the quality at the end of the video here, because uh, or after the video. Sometimes you just, you just buy stuff that you are going to enjoy, guys. And, yes, the other, the other package right here is more winged Karibos. And they were incredibly, incredibly cheap. And that is really the reason I got it. I'm, I'm not even going to bother opening this because we, we know what it is. And that is a video, guys. That's what I bought from the 2024 tins. By the way, this is my, I, I don't even call them investment. Tuning is more of an investment for sure. Wink Karibo is just like, dude, I want the Winking Karibo. How many printings has that had? I think it only got the advent calendar printing. And was it a super rare suit? I don't remember the rarity. Now it's a fucking QCR, which is technically the quote-unquote highest rarity. I don't think QCRs are the highest rarity, but I understand that, you know, QCRs are the highest rarity according to Konami and some players. But anyways, that is the video, guys. Let me know in the comments, though, what are you guys buying that is collector-wise or investment-wise, quote-unquote, from this set and uh, let me know why, because I might have, you know, I, need, I might need some suggestions from the boys. Catch you guys in the next one. A big thank you to the one and only channel member, Eric. I hope I keep pulling acceptable waifus that we can bond over, man.